Welcome to Biology 112. Today we're going to be looking at the torso model, identifying the internal organs. Let's zoom in and start with the neck region. Okay, as we look at the neck region, we see a couple of blood vessels. Arteries are red, veins are blue, running along either side of the neck. Medial in the very center, we have this wonderful hyaline cartilage. This is the larynx. Larynx is the technical term for your voice box. Directly inferior to the larynx, with some blood vessels running on top of it, is the thyroid gland. The thyroid gland is also medial, and it sits directly on top of the trachea. If you see the blue and white up underneath there, that's the trachea. That's the airway that leads to the lungs in the respiratory system. Okay, we've zoomed in a little bit on the thoracic cavity. What we should see very prominently are the lungs, both right and left lung. Notice that the right lung is larger. The left lung is smaller, has a notch out of it to make room for the presence of the heart, which is also slightly on the left-hand side. The lungs are a component of the respiratory system. Okay, as you see, we will remove the right lung and the left lung to expose the heart. The ventricles are the pumping chambers of the heart, and we have some large blood vessels going into and out of the heart in the thoracic cavity. As we make our way into the abdominal cavity, we notice several structures. Very dark brown structure is the liver. Directly beneath the liver is the stomach. Around the outside of the abdominal cavity is the large intestine, it's gray. And on the inside, very medial, all of these structures are the small intestine. Okay, we're going to investigate the abdominal cavity now a little bit further. So we're going to go ahead and remove the liver, the stomach, the large, and the small intestine. When we remove the liver and the stomach, what we've revealed directly beneath the stomach is this bumpy glandular structure. The structure is the pancreas. We're going to go ahead and remove the pancreas, large and small intestine. When we do that, we reveal two kidneys, the right and left kidney on the back of the abdominal wall. You'll notice that on top of each kidney, superior to each kidney, is the adrenal gland. You'll see a couple of blood vessels running straight up and down and then branching into the legs. And then alongside the left hand portion, where the stomach would be nestled up against, is the spleen. This is your abdominal cavity of the human torso.